So let's take a look. For those of you that have never seen Next Step before, uh, Next Step has your menus, your windows, and uh, a thing over here called the dock, which you can move out of the way if you want to. And the dock is really useful for keeping the applications you use most uh, often in constant view, always on the top. So I can grab an application like this X-Terminal emulator and just click it into the dock here, whichever ones I find the most uh, useful to me. And the dock will always stay on the top so I can find them very quickly. We have come up with something really great for Mac OS X, and it's called the dock. And I'd like to show it to you now. This is the dock. It's at the bottom of the screen. It always stays centered. And it allows me to put things into it. Also, please note that when I move around these Next Step windows, the entire contents of the window comes with me. This gets extremely important when we have color images. Uh, if this was a Macintosh or a PC, moving around these full color images would take until uh, next week for them to all repaint. And so rather than just moving the outlines, uh, moving the entire images along with us uh, really is fantastic. Now I'd like to show you some windows. This is a window here. And notice when I drag the windows around, it drags the contents around. Uh, it also does that on resizing. You notice this? Kind of nice. Now everyone on the next system has a home directory. This is my home directory. It's where I put all my stuff. We have another one called home. Well, what's that about? Well, if you're the only user on your computer, your home is just going to be on your computer right there next to the hard disk. But if you set up your computer on a network or set it up even at home or in, in a classroom to be multi-user that we talked about, like Mac OS 9 does, everybody will have their own home. And this takes you to your home, whether it's on your local hard disk, somewhere down the tree, or even in another building on a file server. It'll just take you right to your home. Well, to go out over the network, I go back to my computer, and I have this globe right here. And I click on this globe, and it shows me everything on the network. And so we have one called computer. Boom. It takes you to your computer. You can see your disk drives. You can see the network if you want to. Go on the network, whatever you want to do. And so I go into the demo server here. And it'll show me the different departments. And I go into the marketing department. And sure enough, there's Gary. But the default way it works is to just do that for you. And every time I click, it just takes me somewhere. Doesn't just replaces the window with the place I want to go. Now notice that every time I clicked on something, it put a copy of it in this little horizontal scrolling window up here. So I can see the entire trail or history or path that I've traversed to get there. Now if I want to go back to marketing, I just go click on this like a button and boom, I'm back there. And if I want to get back, there's this pop-up list right here. It shows me everywhere I've been. I can go anywhere back there, boom, I'm back to the computer. In addition to that, it's kind of like tuning a radio station on my radio. I've just finished tuning the radio station, i.e. finding Gary. If I'm going to listen to this radio station a lot, I'd kind of like to program a button just like I do on my car radio. Well, I can do that. What I do is I just take Gary's home directory and drag a copy of it anywhere up here on what we call the shelf, and it programs a button for me. So you can go in and you can say customize the toolbar, and we'll give you a range of things you might want to do here. I want to bring my movies up here. I want to bring the path up here. I want to move this over here. And uh, maybe I'll bring music up here, too. Uh, as you know, uh, Next has, uh, was the first environment to incorporate fax into it. We have full faxing built into the entire uh, Next environment. You can fax from any document. By popular request, in Panther, we are building in fax. There are still some people that fax, if you can believe that. Normally when you'd fax, uh, if I want to fax this document here, I'd go to print it. And uh, I would simply uh, pick a printer here and say print. But instead, I can select fax here. And I can pick one of my address books. And uh, in this case, I'll pick the Colorado School of Mines. And I can just push fax. So on every print panel, there is a fax button, and when you push that fax button, you get a fax panel that does full address completion with your fax numbers out of your address book and lets you set up, make sure you have the right modem, et cetera. Very, very simple. You push a fax button and you're faxing. It is built into Panther, built in fax. And I can then go and say I want to change the font on this by bringing up our font panel. I'll stick with Helvetica maybe, make it 24 points. As you can see, our font panel allows us to um, change the fonts on anything very, very easily. 
And here we go. Nice big Helvetica. And as you can see, of course, I can edit it to my heart's delight. And let me go ahead and uh, show you another cool thing we built in. Yes, please close this. Um, we built in, uh, system-wide, a whole new font panel. And uh, so I can select this and bring up our font panel. And in the font panel, we've got a few new things. First of all, of course, we have the ability to change fonts. Let me make a much bigger size so you can see it um, here. And, uh, you know, I can just change fonts and it all images beautifully. And One of the services is Webster's Ninth Collegiate Dictionary and Thesaurus, which we bundle with Next Step. So I say define in Webster's. It'll launch Webster's, throw that word in, and in a second or two, uh, the definition and the thesaurus for preserve will pop up on my screen. A dictionary and thesaurus, right at your fingertips. Thank you.